Well, hey y'all, happy Tuesday. Well, welcome back. So we're just inside of that home stretch for Christmas, if that's something that you celebrate. Um, and so I've got a million things going on and more wrapping than I could even talk about. And the gifts keep coming in because that's the lovely thing about Amazon is that people can send Amazon to your house and then you can wrap the gifts for them. So I've got Amazon coming every single day and my shopping's all done. So needless to say, I'm wrapping for others right now. So we're going to have a short little random ramblings today. I'm going to talk about something that I'm totally anti for the holidays. I'll chat with you a little bit about the coolest thing that we're having for dinner this week and also um, a couple of shows that I um, watched that I thought that you might have an interest in as well. So the first thing that I am totally anti for the holidays is this. This little thing came into my house yesterday and it's not dressed like any I've ever seen but it's that gruesome little elf on the shelf. Now, the girls obviously go to school with people who have an elf in their house, um, an elf in the shelf. Some of them have more than one elf on a shelf, and they've asked me about it, and I just always say, we don't do that. We don't do that. We don't do that. Well, I think I've mentioned before that the girls go to the library pretty regularly with my mom. They make some really cool crafts, and they do a lot of cool things, and yesterday, apparently, there was some type of contest a drawing and little Josie won it and as a part of that she won an elf on the shelf which caused a great deal of anguish in our home yesterday afternoon um, mostly because you know even though Maisie the older one she I kind of already touched base with her like that's something that the parents do. The elf is not doing that. Um, but she still, a part of her, wanted to believe. So in their conversation on the way home from the library, you know, Josie's prodding Maisie, you know, is this real? Is this going to work now? You know, and, jo and May in her full heart was like, yeah, you know, I think it really will. And then when they come home and they start talking to me, um... Josie felt really let down. She mostly, she felt let down by the elf. And then she felt like really let down that her sister told her that this was true. And so we had, you know, kind of a conversation that let me tiptoe around Santa Claus and just kind of explain like, why would there be all of these in the store for sale if there was anything real or magical about it? And that, that this is really a tool that people use to make their children behave around Christmas. And we just don't do that. Like, first of all, this is me talking to the girls. First of all, we don't have a lot of behavior problems. And second of all, we don't use things like even Santa to try and get you to have good behaviors. And we're certainly not going to start using a little elf who's supposed to be spying on you and then telling Santa everything that is going on, that that just doesn't make sense and isn't going to work for us. So on top of that, Maisie felt really bad because she felt like she let Joe down. Um, but somehow or another we made it through and we decided that they could just stick this on the christmas tree as a part of our little ornaments rather than trying to get your parents or us to engage in some crazy thing that we have to keep up with every night because that's all this is is something that parents do so that's something that i'm anti we do santa claus we love Jesus and we, you know, we focus our holiday around that and that Santa is just kind of a side thing, but we're not going to be doing any elf on the shelf right now or in the future. So that's something that I'm not into. Let me know what you think. Are you an elf on the shelf kind of person? Are you fine with adding one more magical tradition to your holiday? I don't know. Not us. Okay. So 
some things that I watched recently that I wanted to touch base with you. One is we caught up on the latest season of Atypical. I think there's maybe three or four seasons. It's it's something that I relate to because I think that when I was younger, if there would have been all those tasks, I definitely would have been kind of hanging on the fringe of the spectrum. Um, definitely considering all the little weird oddities about me and all my odd issues. Um, but I, so I really, I relate to it. I relate to the kid in the show and I love how endearing his family is and how they all kind of just keep working together to move forward in life. That's a series and a show an actual movie that we caught on Amazon um, that we just loved and we cried and it just made our heart blow up um, was Instant Family with Donnie Wahlberg. And now you gotta watch me because I could easily start crying talking about this, but it really just, you know, cracked open um, that heart that I think a lot of us have um, for all the children that are in the foster care system. And goodness gracious knows I'm four deep right now in this house. Um, so I really am reminded that I've had a desire for a long time to look into being a CASA. And, and that might just be what they call it in Arizona. I don't know. But it's a court-appointed um, special advocate for children that stay with that one child all the way through their process so that that child has someone that can advocate for him or her that's completely outside of the system. And so hopefully this year I can, you know, get through the application process and make some time uh, to move forward in my desire to do that and um, because of, for a long time my husband's told me not only because of time could I not do it but because it would just rip me apart um, kind of having to deal with all the injustices that um, face those children but I have such a heart for it that I'm just gonna have to push down and find a way to fight for them you know instead of getting caught up in all the things that they face because they need somebody on their side. So that's an awesome little heartwarming movie for you to check out is Instant Family. And maybe it will compel you to either donate to some foster organizations, um, lend some help and care and support to foster families, or consider being a CASA um, in your area, a court uh, court appointed special advocate for children who are in the foster care system. Now, we don't have a lot of exciting things on the menu this week. A couple of things that we've had before um, because we're getting to that crunch time around the holidays. But the one cool thing that we're going to try this week is I'm going to try and recreate the Burrito Supreme. I am not a fast food person at all, but for some reason, every now and then, I get this thing for wanting something or another from the Taco Bell menu. And the Burrito Supreme has been in my head. So the only thing we're going to do different is we're not going to have any meat in the burrito supreme it's going to be kind of more like a vegetarian <laughs> burrito supreme but i am going to try to attempt um, um recreate if you will of their red sauce which is kind of what makes all of their bur burritos have that kind of taco bell flavor so i'll have to let you know next week how the burrito supremes turn out and something we had last night that we haven't had in a while that I love, love, love is um, uh, a spaghetti squash casserole. And it's really simple. You just bake up or do your spaghetti squashes in the crock pot, pull all the noodles out of it, make up kind of a roux with onions and milk and broth and then you throw some cheese in it and some spinach and you mix it all together and you bake it for a little bit but it's it's got an awesome flavor and it's definitely one of those kind of comfort foods when it's so chilly here in az so next week we're going to talk about um, something cool um, one of the coolest little Christmas surprises that we're going to be doing around here um, since it'll be Christmas Eve. Um, but until then, I hope that you have the best week ever and I hope that you have almost all your shopping done. And if you need any help wrapping, good Lord, I wish I had some time and I would surely come by and help you. And if I get caught up, maybe I will come help you. But otherwise, I hope you have the best day ever. And until next time, 